bush trucks like this, one of the best things you can do. What I love about them is because they're undulating and there's ups, there's downs, there's rocks to avoid. What you can do is you can get up, you can train your body in different ways and you can utilise the environment around you. Plus, it doesn't feel like exercise, does it? No, because that's right. It feels like you're going on a lovely walk. Great thing about doing this type of movement is you can control how intense it is. So you might have an active recovery day or you might do, do a day where you see stairs like this and you really give it and you give it that energy. But right now, I want to probably take it to the next level and give you a little bit of a taste of Luke as a personal trainer. Oh, sounds awesome. All right, I want you to put your left foot in front. Fantastic. All right, so your back hand right there is your right hand. I want you to give me 10 right here. Ten. High intensity workouts are such an important part of the process. Four. Push Gus. Go. Five. But the four, great news for Gus three, is that 80% of his transformation is going to be from the food he eats. One. How's that feel? Not good. But good. But good. At the same time. The hardest thing though is knowing what that should be. So we're going to navigate how to, I guess, order healthy. The things that we're going to be looking for on a menu. Can what I open that this looks now? Like. Open it up. Okay. Let's go shopping. <laughs> so I often think about a plate of food as prime real estate. So if you've got that plate and you've got all that space and it's real estate, why would you waste it filling it with crap? You wouldn't build a really crappy house on an incredible block of land. So I want you to consider every plate of food that you've got an opportunity to build an incredible plate. So today, okay. I'm going to let you order what you think is, you know, your healthiest option. I'm going to order my healthiest option. And then you're going to pick mine apart, aren't you? Yeah, I might even eat some. <laughs> okay. Oh, how good is that? Check that out. Are you a bit jealous? Oh, I'm a little bit. Is that is that the sweet potato That's thing That's the sweet we've potato got? hummus. I did think about that. Wait, what's that? This is like a garden salad that has like coleslaw through it with a really yummy oil and that sort of stuff, which I thought would be great. Yep. One piece of gluten-free yep. bread. Now, I want to talk to you quickly about bread. Okay. Obviously, we don't want to demonise any food groups, mm. but what I would say when it comes to bread or carbohydrates is we want to use them for a reason. So we've just trained, therefore you want to use them as recovery and refuel. But if we were sitting at home, sedentary, with no need to move or recover, I would say let's swap out the bread and increase your greens. So I've done like sautéed green veggies, healthy gut, so I've done sauerkraut, we've matched on that, right? High five on that regard. Avocado, good healthy fats. And I take your free range bacon and I raise you one free range crispy pork belly. Oh, see I think pork belly and I think you can't eat pork belly, that's gonna to be too fattening. No? Mate, good quality healthy fats from he happy healthy animals that have eaten a diet that they're supposed I to eat. I don't think that animal's very happy now. <laughs> oh, but... Poor. <laughs> Anyway, I've gone the bacon. You've gone no bacon, so you've gone the pork. Yep. Good quality healthy fats keep us feeling fuller for longer. So if I have a piece of pork belly or bacon, I'm not going to feel hungry in two, three hours and want to reach for a croissant or a muffin. I'm going to feel full and I'm going to make it to the next meal. Okay. Should we dig in? Yeah, what do you reckon out of 10? Give us marks out of 10. Oh, mate, I'm going to have to taste it first, but I reckon... <laughs> <laughs> I reckon definitely a 10 out of 10 because everything here is a really smart choice that's going to lead you to the results that you want. For me, it's very much an emotional journey. I know the physical thing has started and I know that I'm losing weight and I feel it in my clothes, but I've been here before. I think the difference this time is the fact that I've got such a good support network around me, the fact that I've got Luke, I've got my missus who's completely on, on course with me, plus I've got my mates as well. So I can't really turn anywhere without disappointing someone if I end up not doing a good job here or if I don't stick with it, I don't lose the weight, I don't get healthier. So I think that for me is really important because I do like to make sure that I don't let people down. But of course, it always comes down to what I do when people aren't watching. I've just got to keep having the discipline, but so far so good. I love you, mate. Love you too. Let's do this.